Hello, my fellow guardians. This is Malucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2 here in week 8 of Season of the Plunder. And you know what that means, as every week we are gonna go over the challenges and go for the quest. Because this is the last steps that we are gonna need to take for sales of the ship stealer. We got step 70, uh, 57 out of 62 and it says visit the star charts but before that we have the season of the plunder challenges of course for week eight we got the antiquarian eight return the eighth relic to the helm and then also defeat champions across the systems champions defeated in catch crash and expedition will award bonus progress so really nice doing a uh, master might actually complete this in one run we'll have to see about that We've got claim the rewards, so collect map fragments and treasure coordinates throughout the season. Map fragments 160, treasure coordinates 1600. So already did that one, that's really nice. So we got one repute already in the bag. And we got barrage, defeat champions and bosses in catch crash. So that's actually pretty nice. That links up with the antiquarian that we need to do for this week. We got the reach power level 1580 by earning pinnacle rewards already did that one really nice i'm really close with my warlock as well so it's actually going pretty smoothly this season we got hold the trigger calibrate machine guns scout rifles and sidearms rapidly defeating combatants and defeating guardians will award a bonus progress and for the last one we only have six this week is acquire the gambit ornament for cry mutiny and i still need to do the defeat targets with machine guns sniper rifles and swords and gambits so uh, definitely something I'm gonna work at this week. And then yeah, Grandmaster uh, well arrived last week. I still haven't run any. Didn't really have the time, I have to be honest. But yeah, only six this week. So pretty interesting. And we already have one in the bag. And let's quickly check what our dear friend here has to say. Guardian, you were close to securing the last relic of Nezarek. And we near the end of our mission. Are we going to revive him? I have noticed no further communications between Aramis and her crews. I hope this means the worst is behind us. Oh, oh don't I say that. Find, however, a transmission from Aramis to Ido. It was embedded in an unsecured scribe log. You may have heard it. Yes, yes. I do not know what Aramis gains in speaking with Ido. We know the ship stealer only acts to her own benefit. But Ido shuns me. She studies the coordinates of the pirate layers without my assistance. I have never seen her behave this way. Because she didn't know you lied to her. I cannot place blame solely on Aramis's influence. Yeah. My actions pushed Ido away. Though I meant only to protect her. I can understand that. You will see that in time. She must. Unless she has already made her choice. We must end this now. Before something happens that cannot be undone. It probably will happen. Claim the final reliquary and finish this conflict. May the light provide. I have a feeling... <laughs> I said this at the start of uh, the season that it might be possible that i don't know that like she's having like a we saw it in a previous episode that she's having kind of a trust bond with with uh with <clears throat> so we already saw this kind of in the, the previous uh, episode that yeah i don't know has like kind of a thrust bond where Ido says where uh, Aramis actually says like you looking into our past is kind of like speaking with a little bit of respect but I kind of still have the feeling that Ido might actually steal our relics and bring them to Aramis and then Aramis is gonna revive uh, Nezarek I don't know what we what we'll have to see right so let's accept and what are we gonna need to do loot expedition buried treasure and complete expedition Expedition and catch crash activity. So one expedition buried treasure, which also means that uh, which one are we gonna take? Now that we are kind of free, increase melee unlocks plunder armor focus. No, is there a 
Increase the savvy earned from completing Season of the Plunder activities. Might be interesting. First time you equip an Umbral Engram in Season of Armor each week. It does not consume. Uh, promote and Glimmer. So we are going to go for Boastful Crew. Increase the savvy earned from completing Season of the Plunder activities. That seems the most logical then. And then I have no idea. Plunder Armor maps, maybe. Not that I'm going to use them. Maybe get increased melee damage and faster melee. What is this? Increased reload, faster class ability recharge. Yeah, I'm probably going to go for this one, I think. Like, uh, armor is not something I'm really interested in. Not enough space. And we've got the scout rifle. And yeah, we red borders now. So which one are we going to take? The shotgun. I think the shotgun I need four from. Let's go for the shotgun. And am I going to get a second one? Ah, uh, not lucky enough. And we got a shotgun, we got another one, really nice. And yeah, the place we need to fill. So I'm gonna look if I can find um, a Master Catch Crash to join. See if I can do that achievement in one run. And then we also, if we're going to quests Captain Atlas, I'm also, of course, gonna go for the Rumored Treasure map for the third week in a row. We're gonna see if this is still garbage. So I just have to test it, right? I just have to test it. Expedition gear. I've never gotten anything good from it. So, is it gonna give us something good this week? Let's see. Uh, expeditions? Uh, let's do that one first. Alright. Let's see what we get. We got what we came for. Let's we got get what we came for? I doubt it. So soon. Take up treasure? Oh, I was hoping to tour the Exodus Black. <laughs> Brigitte Slaw. Oh, that was it. Failsafe must be uh. a treasure trove of Golden Age information. I guess, and golden but age information, to but not safe, golden it's age like treasure. A thrall to play harmonica. More trouble than it's worth. Well, that's exactly what the th the rumored treasure map is. Exactly, uh, more trouble than it's worth. Exactly. All right, we got a new pirate hideout, and it was which one? <laughs> couldn't couldn't read it. Uh, the loosened brood. That doesn't really sound piratey. Okay, let's uh, and let's quickly check. We got one champion that we did defeat. So if we go to quests and then seasonal challenges, and if it would actually load, there we go. So one champion that we defeated in an expedition is eight percent. So if you want to do them all on expeditions, you can, but it will take a while. All right, destinations, and then we go helm, and we go. Cannot access other activities at a time. Oh, I'm loading into the next activity. Yeah, not gonna do that one. And there we go, pirate hideout. Let's launch the loosened brood. Guardian, this layer is swarming with the loosened hive. We must not abandon caution now that our mission comes to a close. Your presence is not necessary. I don't. I know. What are you doing here? Are you unharmed? I will retrieve the last relic myself. No, 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 no. I... <gasps> the hive. I know. Gargan, find her, please. I'm on my way. She I'm on my way. my light. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. What the hell? I will retrieve the last relic myself. He's stupid. I knew she had to do something foolish. Come on. There we go. Performance complete. Let's switch things up. There we go. Good old Wither Horde back in the bag. And give me some ammo. Perfect. Booed my ass. Yeah. Bring this. Yup. Yup. Nope. Where are you? Yo, that worked too many at the same time. <laughs> I got blown up. Am I fast enough? Am I fast enough? I am fast enough. Uh, nice. I know where the hell I are you? I am close to the relic. When we have it, Aramis Kel Open. will see the futility of her actions. Open. You risk yourself for her. She will never abandon her ways. No, 
You both must face the past. You cannot outrun it. You cannot hide it from me. I know. Please, forgive me. Come on, open. I know she's gonna do something stupid. No, you don't. Try not to blow up this time. Oh, we got a heart seeker here. <laughs> Faith. Let's go a little hard mode on him. Thank you. Let's wipe everything off the charts. Oh, we put up a barrier. That's not good. No, oh, explodey fellas. No, 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 don't want to die twice in the same mission. Peekaboo. <laughs> Didn't expect me, right? Oh, big fella. Double big fella. And last it. You are going down, 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 down. Down, down, down. The door is sealed. Father! I know. The hell are you doing? Open up, open up, open up. Activate. Ooh, cinematics. I know. I, I... Ooh. Aramis? Aramis. I'm still here. She could have had everything. She still has stasis powers. I thought we did we strip her of that. She could have had everything. What does she mean by that? And the entire time, the only thing I was thinking, like, they got four hands. Why aren't they using four swords? <laughs> that would have been way more epic if they used four swords instead of just one. Holy crap. That was nice. She could have everything. What did, what did that mean? Could have had everything. Two more, two more quest steps, guys. Visit the ether tank, holo projector in the elixir quarter. Destinations, Helm, and Lixty Quarter. Let's see what they have to say. Ah, <laughs> that was good. That was good. I love cinematics in Destiny. I love Destiny. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So, let me get this straight. Mithrax has Aramis at the end of his sword, and then nothing? I mean... Nothing? Huh. I thought that guy still had some mean in him. Guess I was wrong. Wouldn't I be was the right first about time. you, though. Gotta hand it to you, kid. You did a hell of a job out there. Drove Aramis off, stopped whatever plan the witness had, and brought home all the pieces of Nezarek. Not bad at all. 
Mithrax and Ido have the relics now. Hey, what? Don't know what those things can actually do, but if anyone can figure it out, it'd be them. They don't need to figure Hope it out. Something good. Yep, nothing for you to do now but lay back in that big old pile of pirate treasure you got. You deserve it. And don't worry about giving me my cut, Captain. It just felt nice to be a good guy again. <laughs> Trust. Trust? I'll, I was I was thinking like, well, I'll give you ten or ten or twenty percent. You you drove me in the right direction. So yeah. Um Accept the quest. What do we get? This is the spider for our last relics that we are gonna be able to pick. Please let it be a shotgun. Please let it be a shotgun. Spider? What catches your eye? A shotgun. So week eight, that means we are gonna go for the middle one. No brief shotgun, hell yes. That means that I uh, completed, I have three out of five. I just bought the fourth and now I get the fifth. So I got the shotgun, that means only the linear fusion rifle. I think it's a linear fusion rifle. And then I got all the weapons for this season. Oh, I'm so happy. A spider watch you draw yet another powerful weapon from the offered Ingrams. He chuckles. Hard to argue with luck like that, he says. One thing I've learned through all this, the guardians are a safe bet. And with that, he says gruffly, readjusting in his chair. I believe I've beautifully distribu distributed all the gear entrusted to me by the vanguard. So now I must ask you, with all possible kindness and expedience, expedience, exp expedience, I have no idea what that means, to get out of my bar. <laughs> you can tell Ido is smiling when she contacts you over the radio. No attempts at energy jamming today, Guardian, she says. Either Spider finally found his faith in the Guardians, or he realized opposing you is more trouble than it's worth. Either outcome is quite positive, wouldn't you agree? Yes, <laughs> yes, I would agree. And yeah, sales of the ship stealer quest completed. Hell yeah, it was a nice season. Eight weeks of uh, quests it's was really, pleasure. really nice. Really, really fun. Let's hit the juice box. Oh yeah, don't I have a little dance in there? No. Oh, that's sweeping. Come on, I thought I had a little dance. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when you sweep and then do a dance. You hold on to the brush while you dance. <laughs> Just love so it. Many questions. All right, let's. Uh, we have one more thing to do. Well, two more things to do, right? We have uh, still one more message here, and then we have to place the actual relic once we uh, got the quest done. Uh, so we do want to get all the champions defeated. Uh, and to place the relic and to get our last repute for this week. Uh, well, the only repute we have left for this week. But first, let's listen. Aramis Kel, again, I greet you in the light. Not as my enemy, but as my savior. You protected me from the Lucent Hive. Without your intervention, I would have died at their hands. I thank you. I was terrified. Not only of the Hive, but of you. When you arrived, I thought it was to follow through on your threat. Then you turned and raised your blade against my assailants. But that same blade would have taken the life of my father if you'd had the advantage. I am not afraid of what you are. But I am afraid of what you do. The whirlwind led to you. It led to my father. But it led to me as well. We can see a future for the Elixni beyond the pain of the whirlwind. But you think you can't be a part of it. I do not believe that. My father spared you because he saw that you could turn from a path he had once followed. I see this also. I know the futility of this, but I will say it regardless. There is a place for you here. We need not be enemies. Come home, Aramis. Yeah. May the light provide. Yeah, I don't think she will ever do that. Is that, that it? Yeah, that it. I don't think she will ever do that, Aramis. Uh, we did too much Guardians. We did too much to 
her uh well family and and friends and and everything else <laughs> to actually for her to move in with the guardians right but yeah what a hell of a story this uh it's kind of was kind of thinking i'm still thinking it like we have the eight relics now they're complete they're uh, well we don't have them anymore um or they're still in the helm i'm not really sure the drifter said that uh mithrax has it and ido has them now so not really sure about that but i still feel like we gathered all the parts of uh Nezarek or Nezarek, i think it was called so there is gonna be a time where Nezarek is gonna be revived or maybe that the powers that Nezarek holds will like transfer to somebody else and maybe that's what actually uh like Aramis was actually telling like he could have had everything meaning that if Aramis knows how to use the relics she could tra transfer all the power that the relics holds that Nezrek hold it in the past and transfer them to Ido maybe something like that I'm not really sure anyway guys I'm gonna try to catch a grandmaster uh, master not a, mo a grandmaster a master um catch crash and see if I can get uh, those champions done in one run and I'll bring you guys back once we place that last relic and listen to the end of the story that comes along with it. And now we get no reprieve shotgun, of course. The it's the same like with the sky rifle. Did not make we us did way. miss a lot of yes, the champions. Did. We went in you with five. Because to it took me an hour and 15 minutes to actually get this group together. Like it's day one. The main challenge for the uh, reprieve says that you need to... Kill champions in catch crash or in 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 expedition and it took me an hour and 50 minutes to actually get the first person to get the first person to say hey are you still looking i was like how the hell is this even possible like how the hell is it possible that it can take on day one an hour and 50 minutes to get people to go for their pinnacle i know that it'll, by now in the season a lot of people already have their pinnacle because they've been doing their weekly raids and such and and i haven't run any raid uh so far so people probably already are like way sooner than me on uh give me a second uh way sooner than me on on getting their pinnacle done but yeah it's it's it it, it still baffles me like Master Catch Crash, I presume that's something everybody would want to do. Uh, so yeah, we did one Catch Crash, Master Catch Crash. Let's check out the quests and how far we actually got. No, it's a challenge, right? So 64%. So we got 8% out of one expedition. And it does say that you get extra bonus in Catch Crash and expeditions. So that means we got seven i think seven eight times eight is 64 right if i my math is correct i'm not sure if my math math is correct or not but i think we got seven champions i know we at least skipped four so i do believe if you actually like get a crew um and kill every champion that is in master catch crash you can do it in one run uh for me it's probably gonna be um, I'm gonna run, uh, I think I'm gonna run, let's quickly see destinations, um, not, probably gonna run Nightfall uh, a couple times, maybe on Hero or Legend uh, to go for that one, and then I should get, I'm not really sure because it's not increased, right? It's not increased, so I kind of have to see if we be defeat one champion here, how many we actually get for, uh, for the achievement or for the challenge all right done the well not done yet the uh actual quest is done or the actual challenge is done so we got our champions i did two nightfalls on hero difficulty and it basically gave me 20 percent for one nightfall if you actually beat every uh champion that is in the nightfall and I do have to say, even on hero difficulty, you can easily get like 100k uh, to get your pinnacle. So you don't actually need to go legendary for this one. 
which is really really nice of course and that leaves us with the last thing to do today is place the relic now that we've collected all the relics Mizrak Skell and I believe that we could harness their power yeah here we go to what end we're still uncertain just don't do it while I believe in our abilities I am concerned about the potential side effects such a process could have an ancient dirge I discovered described something called the curse of Nezarek which is rumored to drain the life of the user. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Of course, I don't give credence to such superstition. Dark Age humans were comically ignorant. Comically. Still, <laughs> I would rather not take the risk. My father disagrees. I suspect he wishes to redeem himself for his past wrongs. And in that, I cannot dissuade him. We will continue searching for a method to unlock the relics. Until then, the light provides. Yeah, like I said, uh, they're gonna attempt to use the power of the relics and or, well, one of them dies. But the more likely thing to happen is they get possessed by Nezarek himself. Um, he just takes over because it were the powers of Nezarek and there's a, well, they talk about a cur the curse of Nezarek. So it kind of makes sense that like... If you get gather all the relics and you invoke it to actually get the power he had, that there is maybe a curse that he overtakes your body. If, if I, I wanna, I would say I wanna make a bet on that one, but I made a bet at the start that uh, <laughs> that somebody would betray us and steal all the relics, which is still possible. Which is still possible. Anyway, guys, all the relics are placed now. It is to wait till the end of the season when we actually find out what really happens with these relics, right? Or maybe we'll get to learn of that sooner. Anyway, we've got our last repute for this week. So let's implement that one as well. And then we open the crew. And one that I am interested in right now is armor no uh reload speed a faster class ability recharge is pretty interesting bonus glimmer not interested plunder armor not interested and increased melee damage and faster melee ability so faster more increased precision damage and faster grenade recharge i think i'm gonna go for increased reload speed and faster class ability recharge just gonna make it easier uh running everything Right, and then probably I'll do the armor once last. Very pretty wise. One, two, three, four, five. Am I counting correctly? One, two, three, four, five. You have five left. That means two weeks that we can get two, and then one week we can get one, maybe? Something like that. I'm not sure. And. Yeah, linear fusion rifle, the last one. Are we gonna get lucky? Let's see. Ah, no luck. Oh, well, I got a whole week to farm for those, and I still need to get my shotgun, the last one, leveled up. So let's equip it, and that's what I'm gonna do. But let's sit around down here where we started our episode, like every time, guys, and end this episode up here. If you want to see more of my let's play here in destiny 2 or any other game i might play on my channel just hit that subscribe button it would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed this episode if you do just give it a thumbs up it would always help in the youtube search engine of course and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye